every significant vision that God births in you is going to put your courage to the test. You can count on this. Every time a leader attempts to move people from here to there, the leader knows deep down in their heart that a certain percentage of the people are going to resist moving. They're going to say, I don't care how cool the vision is, how many people it helps, I'm not going. The leader knows that another, another group of people are going to have a wait and see attitude and they're going to need persuasion over time. And every leader knows how ugly it would be to move an effort, a cause, or a group of people halfway and then not be able to finish the job. And so that paralyzes a lot of leaders with fear. Every vision tests the mettle of every leader. So guess what lots of leaders do when they get a cool and challenging vision from God? They abort the vision secretly. No kidding. They kill it off quietly without telling anybody about it. This happens all the time. Who's ever going to know? Fear grips the leader. So to play it safe, they FedEx that cool vision back to God, and they say, no thanks, God, too risky. Send it to some other idiot. See how she does. She, see how he does. Don't send it to me. Too risky. Gang, I live with the deep-seated conviction that throughout history, our gracious God has sent extremely cool visions to leaders all over the world. Visions that would launch exciting businesses that would employ hundreds of people. Visions that would end human trafficking, that would increase food production so no one would have to go to bed hungry. Visions that would provide clean drinking water for everyone in the world. Visions that would root corruption out of government. Visions that would end racial and ethnic violence. I believe to my toes that God has sent millions of cool, life-enhancing visions to leaders young and old all over the world only to have those visions snuffed out because a leader thought the cost must, might be too high or the potential for, for failure might be too great. But you see, no one knows that all these cool visions are being aborted. These deaths occur behind a veil of secrecy and silence. So in my view, when we look at a violent and suffering world, and we all watch the news every night, I think we have a decision to make on where to lay the blame. Should we lay the blame at the feet of a compassionate God who has been sending life-enhancing visions to millions of leaders all over the world? Or should we lay the blame at the feet of a large number of gutless, cowardly leaders who aborted the, minis the misery alleviating visions that God would have blessed wildly had there been the leadership courage to give them birth? Let me push this even further. I would bet a lot of someone else's money that a high percentage of you, <laughs> a high percentage of you listening to me right now have an extremely cool vision hidden somewhere within you. A vision so cool that if you knew it would succeed, you'd drop everything and pursue it today. Might be the vision to start a new business venture or to take the one you run in a new direction. It might be the vision to start a new kind of church or a cool new non-for-profit or a vision to reform an arm of government. Truth be told, your pulse rate increases every time you think about it. It's just that you lack one thing. Basic bravery. Old-fashioned courage. And gang, I get it. I've been paralyzed by fear far more times than I would ever care to admit. And I have beaten myself up mercilessly for being cowardly throughout my leadership career. But then, you know, there comes that day, in my case anyway, when I realize I got to live with myself. And I got to stand before God someday. And so I have to sort of grab hold of myself and say the words that God said to young Joshua. And I got to personalize them. Be strong and courageous, Bill. What are you thinking? Be strong and courageous. Do not fear. God himself is with you. He will never forsake you. And then I got to take that vision out of hiding. I've got to talk to some trusted friends about it. I got to get some feedback. And when the time is right, I have to step out in faith despite the fact that I'm vibrating with fear. 
and I just have to trust that God is going to help me achieve it in his power, in his strength, and for his glory. Gang, it's why God made us leaders. It's not to sit and suck air here. It's to step out in faith and move something or someone all the way to there, despite our fear. But gang, don't go to your grave with cool visions shriveling up and dying inside of you. Don't be that leader. Don't die a coward. One day, shortly after our care center opened, I rode my motorcycle over one night and sat in front of the new care center, just watched people going in and out, was praying and just looking at the miracle God had done. And uh, a woman in a beat-up minivan with about five kids in the back pulled up right next to me. She recognized me. She walked over and said quietly with a very heavy accent, Pastor Bill, Thanks for this incredible place. Right now, it's our family's only hope. It's our family's only hope. Then she left to go get some groceries for all those kids. I sat out on the, on the motorcycle and thought about her words. Our new care center was her family's only hope in this world. And then I thought of how close I had come to killing that vision before I had breathed a word of it to anybody. And I would have killed it because I was afraid we couldn't raise the money in tough economic times. And I'll tell you, I bawled half the way home. What a colossal tragedy that fear-induced abortion would have been. Leaders, visions are holy commodities. They come from our transcendent God. Treat them with the utmost respect. And for God's sake and the world's sake too, don't just kill them off in a late night fit of cowardliness. Get on your knees and say the Joshua prayer as many times as you need to say it. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. God will be with you and will not forsake you. Then get up off your knees, put one foot in front of the other, and walk in faith toward the launch of that vision. Deal? Deal? 